So in today's video, we're going to be looking at speech to text or dictate within Microsoft Office. We can do this in Word, PowerPoint, Outlook, so on and so forth. And it really helps me, especially if I'm trying to write a creative document, instead of typing it, I find it much easier just to speak my mind and then I can go back and edit it afterwards. I've also been playing around with, does it speed up my Outlook workflow? This is also, of course, a fantastic feature for accessibility. So let's jump in and take a look. So we're now here on Word on the web, and I'm running this right now at Microsoft Edge. Of course, you could do this in the desktop client as well, but I thought it'd be nice and easy to show it here in the web browser. So how do we get started with dictating? All you need to do from the ribbon is come over here to dictate, or you can use the shortcut key, Alt and tilde. So we're gonna go ahead and hit dictate, and the first thing that you're gonna notice is it brings up a menu here down at the bottom and it's starting to listen to what I'm saying. And we can see that right now because it's got the icon, of the red microphone, and it shows like it's listening or recording. But before you jump in, you may wanna look at changing some settings. And not only can this dictate what we're listening to, but we can also use voice actions to control the document or the email, whatever we're looking to write here. So. What I'm gonna do is teach us our first command, which is pause dictation. So what you can now see is the dictation has been paused. So whatever I'm saying now is not being relayed into the Word document. So if we go look at this menu down the bottom here and we go into dictation settings, there's a few things that you can do. First of all, you can choose your spoken language and make sure that is set up correctly. You can, of course, change your microphone. So you know, if you come into this and you realize that nothing is being picked up from your voice, well, you probably need to go in and change your microphone and make sure that that's enabled. We then have a couple of really interesting options. So you could see as I was dictating earlier, there was no punctuation whatsoever and it was just kind of listening pretty much to what I was saying. So if we wanna change that, and I generally put this to enable, we can just go ahead and slide it over to enable punctuation. You can also filter out sensitive phrases as well. So at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save. The other thing we're gonna look at while we're in here, other than just you can start the dictation, is if you go over to help, you can find out all the different actions that you can do while you're here in Dictate. So for example, you can understand how to do punctuation. You know, if you say comma, you're gonna get a comma, so on and so forth. And then there's some really interesting format documentation that you could do, you know, whether it's bold or whether you wanna create lists, so on and so forth. I'm not gonna jump into all of them. I recommend that you take a look at that in your own time, but that's gonna help you get started. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and create some form of draft email as if we are just walking through this in Word and using Dictate. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit Start Dictation. Hi team, new line. As discussed in our last meeting, I just wanna share what I think the agenda should be for our next team meeting. New line. Start list. Introductions, new line. Discuss the awesome new Microsoft 365 features. New line. Discuss anything else top of mind for the team. Exit list. Let me know if you have any other items that you want to add to the agenda. New paragraph. Cheers, delete, delete, thanks Harry. So as you can see there, I gave a few examples of you know, how do we create new paragraphs, how do we delete things, how do we create new bullet pointed lists. So hopefully this gives you a good idea. I do recommend you have a look at the help and see all the different things you can do to control your document. And you can try this out, as I say, in Word or in PowerPoint or in Outlook. Well, I hope dictation goes well for you and I'll see you in the next video.